Hey guys, I know myself here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to share with you guys my follow-up on iOS 14 developer beta 1 as I usually like to do. I like to share with you guys additional new features and changes, talk about the YouTube community poll, also express my thoughts on the software. Now it's been approximately a week and a half going on two weeks since I've been running iOS 14 developer beta 1 on this device. I'm going to go over some of the details here, but before we get to that, let's talk about some of the changes and questions that you guys have been asking me in terms of features, starting with Memoji and the new Memoji customization features. So right here under the Memoji and the editor, right, the picker for the new Memoji, you can customize your Memoji. There's new skin colors, a hairstyle, brow, eye, facial expressions, nose, mouth. There's just so many new options to customize your Memoji. But you guys have been asking how to get the mask on the Memoji. Well, that's gonna be on headwear all the way at the bottom, you'll find the new mask option. You see there, you have the ability to change the color of the mask, of course, but there it is. That is how you get the mask under headwear. But again, there's just so many options to customize your Memoji. And there's also some new Memoji stickers available as well. For those of you that did not know, there's Memoji stickers available for you right there. A ton of new ones as well. So that's how you do that. Now, next, I want to talk about privacy because privacy, of course, is very, very important. Apple added a really good feature, really amazing new feature here under privacy called tracking. Now this will allow you to see which apps are using identifiers to track you across other applications and websites. So if an app is attempting to track you, it'll tell you which app it is and what the intentions behind that app is in order to track you. Very, very important feature. And I'm very happy that Apple added this one here because a lot of times we see ads inside of applications for different things that we search elsewhere. And that's why, because they continue to track you even without you knowing. So great feature there. Now also editing screenshots in iOS 14, there's also a few new options. So for example, if you want to make a circle, you can make the circle and hold it in place and it will make an exact circle for you, as you can see there. Really cool. Now for the arrow, you can also point at something, hold it in place and it'll make a perfect arrow for you. So let's try to do that here. There we go. It'll make a perfect arrow for you. So that is a really neat feature to edit your screenshots in iOS 14 as well, something that I wanted to share with you guys. Now, another thing I do wanna share with you guys is that you can now actually hide or remove the settings application from the home screen. Did you know this one? So the settings application, if you click delete, it will actually hide it under the app library feature, under this feature here, and it won't be available on the actual home screen. I think this is actually really cool. Some users do not prefer to have the settings application there on the home screen, so you can now do that as well. Now let's talk about performance itself. In terms of battery, my personal experience, and this is to be expected, keep in mind, this is beta one. It isn't the best, honestly, it isn't the best. I don't get through the entire day as of yet, but of course, with additional betas, Apple will improve the battery, of course, and we hope so. Now I've been getting anywhere from five to maybe five and a half to pushing it to six maybe of on-screen time, and I'm a heavy user. I do a lot of browsing and video watching and all that stuff, so the battery isn't perfect yet, but it is getting there slowly. Hopefully with additional betas, we'll see this improve over time. Now, one thing I do wanna talk about is performance and stability. I have to say I only had one crash for about a week and a half of using the software. So in terms of stability, Apple really uh, nailed it this time with iOS 14. With iOS 13, it was a mess. There was just so many bugs, so many issues. Uh, there's a few issues within the lock screen where the uh, actual clock will disappear. There's some issues within the actual wallpapers, but something minor. You see there, if I have a widget for the battery, it'll show this huge battery widget there. These are minor bugs that'll be fixed within time. But in terms of performance, things are running really, really good so far. Next, I wanna talk about the YouTube community poll. This is a very important part because this is where you guys have an input on how the software is working for you. So the question, of course, was how is iOS 14 and beta one working for you? We have 7,400 votes. Very good option has a 23%. So 23% of you guys are having a very good experience. Okay, but there's a lot of bugs, a 6%. Then we have it's okay, but some bugs, 13%. A bad experience is at 2%, which is good, of course. And not running the beta has the biggest percentage with 56%. Now, let's talk about some of the comments here because most of the comments here, 
are expressing how the software is so stable. So it's honestly more stable than iOS 13. That is the number one most popular comment or one of the most popular comments here. The second one is a very stable, a little bit of bugs here and there. Overall great iPhone 6S battery draining uh, quickly though. And that is to be expected. iPhone 6S owners, uh, 12 votes here. They're having a great experience overall. And that's on an older device. So that is actually a good thing here but the battery as I mentioned isn't the best and you can see that reflect here as well and some of these comments just go over how the software is stable more stable than iOS 13 I'm waiting actually on the public beta again if you're waiting on the public beta links in the description in that video I talk about when you can expect the software um, iPhone 11 a couple of resprings here and there but things are working fine uh, the incoming call UI some users are having issues when you have the incoming call come in we now have the little banner up at the top some users are reporting that sometimes they do get the full screen there's an option within the phone extension in settings where you can go ahead and adjust that option if you really want to you can go into the phone extension and that will tell you if you want the notification to be full screen or if you want the notification to be at the top and if you're having issues you can just click it on and off and it'll reset it for you and then again just a lot of users expressing how the software is working good some users expressing the battery issues and concerns but again guys this is beta one battery issues are to be expected and we'll see improvements overall now I post these every week as a new beta Data becomes available so if you want to check them out I'll post them on Twitter as well so come back to the channel you can express your thoughts you can vote and that way everyone will understand how the software is performing overall so that is my quick update some new features answering some questions additional uh, options within iOS 14 stay tuned because of course I'll continue to be covering the software let me know what you think about the software so far thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one peace